watching New GHTV. Hey, what's up? It's Nikki Fire, Urban Grind TV. We're back here with Big Phil, also a part of the Straight Razor film series, the Mike series. How are you doing this evening? How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for having us. Welcome. Looking nice in your white tee. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right. So let everyone know who Big Phil is, the artist. Um, Big Phil, the artist. Um, I want to inspire. You know what I mean? Um, you know, I want to instill life into into the um, I'm not an ordinary cat you know what I'm saying I come from Inglewood 59th and Morgan 51st and Carpenter past Western 63rd and Artesian and 63rd and Washington also Big Field is that ordinary cat on you know that you grew up in the hood shoot the everyday that, guy that, that, that everyday guy you know what I mean so I transform that into music so that I can try to inspire you know what I mean you see so much nowadays it's so much negativity and so much poverty and you know when you listen to the radio everything is turned up you know life is not a, always a turn up thing exactly. don't get me wrong you know what I'm saying I love a party environment but you know I just want to give uh, a solid background and give that story of how it is to grow up in the hood, you know what I'm saying? And so hopefully that someone can see my story and be inspired and want to do things with their lives, you know what I mean? I came from nothing, I came from nothing and, you know what I'm saying, and I made it to the top, you know what I mean? So hopefully this is, you know, I want to be inspiration. You want to let others know that you are just like them. And you we, you know, we cut from that same cloth. So if I can do it, they can do it. You know what I'm saying? I don't try to provoke no no negativity, no violence. You know what I'm saying? Because we got enough of that. You know what I'm saying? I want to see us live. I want to see us have, you know, things in life. So if I could be a part of that and they can look at me and say, you know, hey, he got it. He got it in a positive nature. Then I could do that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to go that route. So, you know, that's what it is. Well, tell us who Big Phil is. Like, growing up, what inspired you to make music? I know you say you want to be an inspiration to others. But, you know, people could be inspirational any kind of way. You chose it through music. Let's tell us about your journey. Well, well, absolutely. You know, you know, like I said, growing up in the city, you 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 face with different challenges. You see a whole scope of things. You know what I'm saying? And you you take that. You know what I'm saying? When I grew up, I was playing basketball and did all of the things that young teenagers do. You know what I mean? And so what inspired me was Chicago and life in general. And so I was the one that if I had a problem, I wrote it down. You know what I'm saying? If I felt good, I wrote it down. If I fell in love, I wrote it down. You know what I mean? So I wanted to bring all that into a body of work and so when I looked at it and I looked at my notebook I said man these are rhymes so I just started rapping you know what I mean and then I, I was introduced to a cat named Khalif back in eighth grade and he was doing it and he looking at you know guys on TV and I'm saying man he doing what them guys do on TV took my notebook out he showed me how to compose and it's been on since then you know awesome how did you get started out with straight razor films well, me and Rip go back a long way, you know what I'm saying? Rip was in a party scene, I was in a party scene, you know, he did security and some other things. Uh, and so, actually, a mutual friend of ours introduced us, and we hit it off then and there. Um, and we've been rocking ever since. He got into film, he got into production, he did a couple, you know, big major films, and uh, we ran, we crossed paths again, and then we just started working, you know what I mean? He was, he was, uh, he had Gooch, he, he was working with Gooch, and he said, hey man, I got this project, why don't you be down? And I'm always good for, you know, something positive. So it wasn't even a question for me. What will we see in the Mike series as far as Big Phil? Um, I guess a collaborative effort, you know what I'm saying, of, of, of a group of Chicago MCs coming together, showing that, that, that uh, you know, that, that Wu-Tang type of environment where, where cats can come together, you know what I'm saying? We all from different neighborhoods. Like I said, I grew up in Inglewood. Uh, you know, they grew up on East Side and the Wild Hunted. So... You know, we just want to bring that that positive energy back to music. You know what I'm saying? It ain't all about shooting one another. You know what I'm saying? It ain't all about selling packs to one another and and, and, and promoting destruction. So, you know, the, the Mike series, just a group of brothers got together, wanted to do something positive and, you know, hopefully be an inspiration to other cats that's coming up and, and, and falling in love with the music that I fell in love with. So, so it's all about unity at the end of the day. I, I, I promote that 100%. You know what I mean? It's it, like I said, not not so much is in, in music, but just in in media. Period. It's just 
everything is promote negativity. I mean, where, where's the positive? Where's the positive aspect of uh, growing up in the hood? When I grew up, it was it was a beautiful thing for me. I went, you know, what I'm saying, yeah, we had gun violence, and in the '90s, you know, what I'm saying, you had gangs and you had struck, you know, but it, it was structures in that gang. You know, you had somebody to answer to. Now it's just renegade now here, and you know, nobody's have nothing, no, nobody to answer to. So, you know, it's. It, at, at, at some point, you just got to say, you know what, we're going to do something positive and, and put some positive energy in the world. So that's what we're doing. So that's what you'll see on the Mike series. You know, stay tuned. You know, we got more to come. You know, we're going we gonna, to, we, you know, we're going to shock the world on this one along with Shout Town. Exactly. And that's what Chicago needs right now is that unity, is that picture that we all can come together and it not be about violence. Right. Absolutely. Because, you know, when, when, when you travel the world and you go to other cities, you know, I've been to California, New York, uh, Atlanta, you know, all of those guys come together. When you go and listen to their radio station, all they're doing is promoting their artists. You go to L.A., you hear all oh, L.A., you know what I'm saying, artists. Not saying that they don't play everybody. But you go, you know, you, you, you go to Atlanta, they playing all Atlanta cats. You go to New York, it's the same thing. So hopefully Chicago can get on that and try to build some type of foundation where artists have some place to go to. Because right now, you know, we just out here and trying to get on every avenue and every media circle that we can. So hopefully this mic series will, will open that brand up, you know what I mean? It opens everyone's eyes. Are you working on anything currently? Absolutely. I got a project coming out never too late. Um, you know, I got it, you know, um, I got... Uh, Tizone, I've, I've been working with him for years. I got Gooch on the, on the album. Um, who else I got on? I, in the past, I've worked with No ID, um, some cats from Atlanta. So, you know, uh, the project's gonna be pretty decent, you know what I'm saying? And like, again, I just wanna put inspiration out there to let people know that no matter what walks of life you go through, no matter what hurdles you gotta, you know, uh, jump over, no matter what happened to you, it's never too late to follow your dreams. It's never too late to do anything you wanna do. So, that's the purpose of the project. Alrighty, Big Phil, let everyone know where they can get in contact with you at, if they want to work with you or anything, your social media, all of those. I'm on, I'm on social media. Are you? Yeah. You hesitated. <laughs> no, absolutely. I'm on it every day. I do the, the, the Facebook, the Twitter and everything. But right now I want to create a, uh, you know, you got, because social media is so broad and it reach a, a, a wide uh, range and globe of people, we want to create a solid fan base, you know what I'm saying? We want to create a solid fan base for, so that those who really want to be a part of the movement and support, you know, wholeheartedly, you can, you, you can find us, you know what I'm saying? You'll do your homework, you'll do your leg work, you'll, you'll be able to find us because we really want true supporters, you know what I'm saying? Not no haters, not no, you know what I mean? So we want to we want to bring that love to the table. So if you're interested in uh, Straight Razor Films, Big Field, Tunnel Vision Entertainment, find us, you know what I'm saying? I love you, Chicago. I love you, Inglewood. Put the guns down. You know what I'm saying? Big feel. Urban Grind TV, we're out.